What's going on everybody? Mike Paldino here at Evolution Grappling Academy. Um, I had some requests on Reddit about uh, lockdown and some half guard techniques. So we're going to go and flow over into those. Okay. So let's get started with how our foot positioning is going to go. Okay. In regular half guard, I'm here flat on my back. Number one is you always want an underhook when you're in half guard, okay? You should be making a living with your underhook. Always having this, okay? Now look at my feet. When I, when I move over into lockdown, I'm going to whip this leg over, outside in, and come here flat to my back, okay? I'm going to whip him up. Look, my two hands are in his hips, and I'm going to use my knees to lift him up over my right shoulder and get onto my, my, my right elbow. Hop back over here. Here. Whip up, cup the hip. My right hand is going to dig for his toes. Okay? Now I'm going to get onto, let's show these guys here. Okay. Now I'm going to get onto my right elbow here. Once on my right elbow, I'm going to undo lockdown, drag my right knee through, get to both knees. Pull his foot in it, you have your head forward. One more time. Start here, underhook, outside. Outside foot comes over, here. Toes up off the ground. If you have this problem where a guy keeps unhooking your lockdown, okay, chances are what you have to do is just extend the foot, take your foot out, okay? His foot is trapped here. Now I'm gonna go into my whip up, onto my hip, okay? My right arm's gonna come through and grab his toes. So right arm comes through, grabs his toes, and gets to my right elbow, okay? Now I'm gonna sprawl out onto my both knees, pull his foot in and drive it. Just like that. One more time, guys. Lock down here. I take my heels about an inch off the ground here. Whip him up, get onto my hip. Grab his toes, get to my elbow. Undo lockdown, get to my knees, and drive in. Okay? Now, his defense on top is to wizard me. And I'll show you what I mean. He comes up and we're both in like uh, the dog fight, we're both in a scramble here. If I have a wizard, I can hip into him here and get him back down to his back. So we're gonna use this wizard of his against him, okay? So I'm going plan B. Again, heels up off the ground, whip up, get to my elbow. When I start getting to my elbow, he starts digging that heavy. I'm gonna come in, trap down with my elbow, extend, roll, Sweep into side control. Here. Here. He's wizarding me hard. I'm going for his toes. Getting up, getting up. He's wizarding heavy. Trap. Elbow tight. Come through. Extend. Unhook. And get to my knees. Okay? So, old school plan B. That's both off of that series. Now, another great half guard sweep. Up over here is the electric chair. Okay, here, whip up, here, right arm comes through, left arm, the underhook, comes in front, gable grip, extend. Look, his knee, the crook of his knee is directly on my shoulder. I tell my guys it's like stacking wood or two by four. Okay, if you're on, onto the outside of your shoulder, you're gonna hurt your shoulder. If you're here, this guy's gonna be way more flexible, okay? Like uh, here. So be tight, extend those legs, okay? I'm gonna pin drop into a pool. That's the tap. If a guy's too flexible, he's posting his hands. I'm gonna come right hand, the underhand, to his tricep, get to my elbow, extend, extend, come up on top, unhook into my pass, okay? One more time. Here, onto my elbow. Shoot through. S grip my hands here. Okay, here. Come through. Gable grip. Extend. Dig my shoulder over. Okay? This guy posts up. He stays up. He's flexible. Block. Get to my elbow. Rock up on top. Okay? On hook. And pass into side control. Okay, so those are our three. We got. Old school, plan B, and the electric chair. Real quick, some troubleshooting 
if I can't quite get this outside leg over, okay, turn this way. If I can't quite get this outside leg over, okay, I just don't have the flexibility. I'm gonna use my right foot, the inside foot, to stomp on his leg, come over, and press up. Again, another issue is guys have lockdown in there here, and my opponent's, uh, his mobility of his lower leg can go right over the top. So what I do is just throw my feet up. This doesn't hurt me at all to throw my heels off the ground and then get the whip up, okay? And lastly, if my opponent has double unders, I don't ever want this, okay? So I gotta come under his face, pry up, and come whip him up. So one more time, if you encounter this, you just can't get your underhooks, it's a bad spot for you. Up, pry him away, get back to the underhook, okay? The underhook is where you're gonna make your living. It's where you're gonna survive. If you don't have the underhook, he's gonna keep an, a relentless attack going, okay? So those are your options. We got old school, plan B, and the electric chair. From the electric chair, you go into a whole nother series. All right, for my Redditors, um, keep the questions coming. Uh, my username is T-Tsunami, T-E-E-S-U-N-A-M-I, T-Tsunami on Reddit, so shout out to my Redditors. And keep the questions coming. I, I love to help people, so keep asking. And uh, go like my Facebook page, uh, Evolution Gravin Academy. Go subscribe to our channel, Evo BJJ. Uh, as always, like, comment, share. And uh, I look forward to, to sharing some knowledge with you guys. Oos.